Hello and welcome to a new series on this my YouTube channel Tvoom Photography and of course also on my blog which is tvoom.tumblr.com tv.om.tumblr.com My name's Pete, I'm your host. Always wanted to say that. And I like pictures and coffee. So you'll probably see me drink a lot of that black liquid gold. What about this series? Yes, what about? It is all about photography, as you might have guessed, because you're clever. And I know that. So in the first couple of videos, let's talk about a huge topic. Let's talk about exposure. I will introduce you to three exposure techniques. ETTR, ETTL and ETTM. Expose to the right, expose to the left and expose to the middle. What does that all mean? What is the difference? How to do it? When to do it? That's what these first couple of videos are all about. And in this first one, I'm going to show you the basics. So what about exposure? ETTR, ETTL, ETTM. Let's start. ETTR, exposed to the right, with right referring to the right side of the histogram. So the area that shows how much brightness information we have in our photos. So we try to capture a photo as bright as ever possible without, and that is the crucial bit, blowing out highlights. Because blown out highlights mean one thing, loss of picture information. Why do we want to do that? Or why would we want to do that? Theory says that image sensors are much more sensitive in the bright areas. So if we capture a photo very bright, we actually capture more picture information. Of course, this means that we have to darken the photo in the second stage, in the processing stage, and the resulting photo will look more detailed and less noisy. At least that is the theory behind that, which we're going to take a closer look in one of the follow-up videos. While ETTL is not the exact opposite of ETTR, because we don't take photos as dark as ever possible, but nevertheless slightly underexpose our photos to avoid highlight clipping by all means. But by doing so, we also accept that we might crush some blacks and not have the ultimate best picture quality ever in the final result. But the benefits are we can work pretty fast and nevertheless bring home at least decent photos. Which is cool, because sometimes we just don't have the time to adjust the camera settings for each and every shot. And last but not least, expose to the middle, ETTM. Probably the most commonly used exposure technique, even by people who are not aware that they use any kind of exposure technique. And it's also a technique that is used by most camera automatics. So the focus is on the mid-tone range and we accept that we might crush some blacks and we might lose some uh, picture information by blowing out highlights, but we can work pretty fast and get a very decent, balanced and averaged out exposure that might not be too exciting, but we don't have to do a lot in post-processing, which is uh, actually a cool thing if we want that. To sum that all up, ETTL and ETTM, exposed to the left and exposed to the middle, are techniques to get, well, a safe shot. You can work pretty fast and usually get decent results with just a little or even no work in post-processing. ETTL, exposed to the left, is used to preserve highlights and avoid loss of information in the highlights area. And ETTM will give you a decent balanced exposure that, let me be blunt, sometimes is not really exciting. ETTR is a technique to both avoid highlight clipping and also give you the best possible picture quality, but it demands a bit of time, a bit of technical knowledge, some skills and experience, and always some work and post-processing. So don't you be scared! 
That all is neither rocket science nor witchcraft, everyone can learn that. And even if you don't use all of these techniques, knowing that they exist, knowing how to pull them off will definitely improve your photography. So in the next videos, we're going to talk about all of these three techniques a bit more in depth. I will show you some tips, tricks, techniques. I will show you a couple of handy tools that we already have uh, as soon as we have a camera. So this one's for today. Bye bye. Bye. Till next time. Daddy, I don't want to miss any of Pete's videos. Well, then subscribe to his channel.